Well, there are now less than 100 days left in 2020, and for the rest of the year, one local artist is spending each day in her studio learning about and honoring women of power. And in tonight's Good News with 13 report, Shannon Litton shows us how this challenge is having an impact in Cabell County. Every day is a new start, a new page, a blank canvas. And during a time when many are struggling, painter Sasa Wilkes is getting creative with bold strokes. The private lessons she once taught now on hold, yet another casualty of COVID-19. I was just feeling really stuck artistically and I wanted to paint. The passing of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, a motivation to once again splash color to canvas. That was a good way to spend my day just learning about somebody and honoring them. That painting, the first of 100 women, Sasa will complete before the end of the year. Already she's painted several. RBG, Maya Angelou, Frida Kahlo, Michelle Obama, Mother Jones, and Rosa Parks. Also, a proud portrait of Ironton, Ohio native and Huntington, West Virginia's fire chief, Jan Rader. There's not a single person here that doesn't have an immediate story of loss from drug addiction. She fits on that wall with those women to me. Well, that, it's very humbling to me. Um, uh, I, it, I was speechless and, and that's unusual for me. Sasa felt weird about selling Raider's picture, but then she thought, why not help people? All sales from Raider's portrait will go to the Compass program. That program helps first responders deal with compassion fatigue and PTSD. We as first responders are not very accepting of help. We just want to give help. Inspirational women. Every day is a new start, a new page, a blank canvas. It is a language. She urges people to do all they can do. Be bold, draw your stories, and paint your truths, which are not easily diluted. In Huntington, I'm Shannon Litton. 13 News, working for you. A very talented artist, too. Absolutely, and Wilkes usually listens to recordings of the women that she paints and writes up a brief description of what she learned before posting the finishing finished portraits rather on her online store. To learn more about her efforts, just head over to our website, wwktv.com, and just look for Shannon's story. And if you have story ideas like this one during these times, we want to hear from you. You can share them with us. Just send us an email to news at wowktv.com. No.